two awesome pencil toppers. It's Mystery Man here. Let's get started. The first pencil topper isn't too decorative. It is going to be a surprise, but all it is really is just a little ring on top. And it is actually, if you're like an OT person, it, this might actually be helpful for this because you could use it as a ring and it can help you learn how to write. Because you put your finger through and then you learn how to write. It's very, very cool. So let's get started. The first one, as you know, is going to be a surprise. It is going to be red and tie-dye purple for my brother. It, it is, looks very odd, but actually, no, it doesn't look odd. It's just like, like weird. Whatever. So let's get started. We are 51 seconds in. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to place your first rubber band, only one across like this. Let me, oh, and as you can see, I got a new. Actually, the reason I, I just want to say something real quick. The reason I'm doing this video is because yesterday was actually my birthday. I'm now nine years old. Okay, so if you look down a bit, you can see as my rainbow loom has one red peg right here. Now what you need to do is take whatever color you're doing next and place it right across. Oops. Place it right across from it. And just keep doing that pattern for like the approximate amount you want. I don't really know how much you want, so just do what you want really because it's very awkward. Okay, so you guys, this is the approximate I'm doing. Now, you may have, you have a choice. You are to take one rubber band and double it up to, a, well, you don't really have a choice, but there is a small choice that I make. Okay, so make one X capping band. If you don't know what a capping band is, it's just where you take one rubber band, turn it upon it, flip it to a figure eight, turn the figure eight on the, on the, Right, so it's like a double figure eight on two two fingers. Then what you're going to do is you have sort of an option. Well, I made up one of them. So usually, well, what most people do is they just place it on one peg like that. But if you want, I stretch it out to make it just a little bit easier. So you do this on the last peg, not the one at the beginning where the red arrow is, the one actually at the opposite side. So now what you're going to do is take the capping band area, push the, well, you did it the way I did it, where double up, like the red, you don't really have to push back, you just have to hook the next one, the other one you have to push it back, just hook this one forward, hook the bands forward by grabbing one band in there and pushing it forward just like that. It is awfully easy, just keep doing it. It is a piece of cake. Just do it throughout the whole loop. Okay, you guys, I am done already. This is how it looks like. Now what you're going to be doing is, this is what the other pencil chopper looks like. It has, it has a little furball decoration. It's like a Lorax tree if you've seen that movie. Now what I'm going to do is take the eraser side, so you dig it all the way through the, the where the red arrow is, pull all the way off except for the last one, so it looks like this, and then put your eraser back in the last hole, so it comes up like that. It is very looking nice. Let's get started on the next one. As you can see, it looks like a small Lorax tree. This one, this one isn't very out yet. I just learned it in a book. It is very nice. Let's, and it looks like this. Let's get started. So the first thing, and you can actually, really, they don't take up much room, so you could put like five, I actually put six on one, no, five on one pencil and 
It was very n nice, and I gave some out, and people loved them. I actually gave it out to one person that had their birthday right before, after me, and they loved it. Okay, so over here, I have a small setup. Oops. As you can see, this is my setup. You need a level ru 11 rubber bands for the part that's, like, not, like, the furry part, just, like, the hanging part. And then for the furry part, you just take, like, a bunch of rubber bands, as much as you want. It just depends. Okay. So, I have mine in order. You could take a minute to put yours in order. But the thing is, what you do. Okay, I'm going to put this. It's my main box over there. And then what you're going to be doing is first with your rainbow loom. Oh, also what you need is sort of like a bad hook. Like, like a hook where like they come in like little bags of rubber bands where you could just like, you know. You, you know what I mean. Just like a, like, you see how this is, like, better quality than this. I ha And they come in many various rubber band packs. Some look a little different than others. And then there's also this one that I have and all those kind of things. And I also want to just say one more quick thing about my YouTube. One person on a video called me cheap. I wanted to say something about that. Um, the, I, I saw this, oh, I just need to brighten it up a little so you, I could see. Um, about this, it's just that one person called me cheap because I, I was doing my loom comparison. Instead of actually buying the loom for the other two, I just printed down a picture. Um, I see why they called me cheap, but the thing is, it's like, I, I just, I'm just not one of those people who want to just waste my money on a video. I mean, like... I like videos and I'm serious about them, but the thing is, I'm not so serious that I'll go out and spend fifty dollars worth of rainbow loom. So I just thought I'm not that caring. So I'm sorry. Just I don't really like that person. I think they could have said something a little nicer. I don't mind. It's just that they could have said something like, maybe next time you should actually buy the loom instead of just your cheap. Because I think that's very, 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 very rude. Okay. Now, let's see. Oh, my gosh. And you're going to take your first rubber band. Put the same way up. But the thing is, you're going to leave this peg empty. So no rubber band on these, like this. There's going to be no rubber band like that. You're just going to lay one rubber band here. It's where it's going to end. So, all you're going to do is place the rubber bands up and up and away. Up the loom. Oops, one popped. Up the loom, no matter what happens, just place them up. And plus, you only need one of these, but I'm just using three. I don't know why. All right, now you do that. You place rubber bands up. You may pause the video if you need. And, and there we go. Let's keep going. Okay, once you're done with this, you, you, I see that you have to leave one peg out. Now, as you can see, you need a bunch of rubber or bands. Actually, you need a little more than this. Take, if you can, take more. So, oh, not that much, not that much, no. Not that, that's a little free. That way too many purples. Yeah. Take a couple red out. There we go. That's much better. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the last peg, push it down, push the rubber band down as far as you can. What you're going to do is take about two at a time and push it to the le the left side. Push two up. Push two straight up, and then push two to the right side in sort of a backwards arrow direction. Do the same thing that I just did with about two rubber bands, 
and two, you can't fit another rubber band. I don't even think I have the ability to do this many rubber bands on here. So just keep doing it. Just keep going. Need. And actually, something I figured out, you could do as many of these things as you want. I just recommended three because three is a good number. Favorite number is plus two of that, which equals five, as everyone knows. So that's just a basic fact. I don't know why I like five. I just, I like orange and five goes good with orange, don't you think? All right, now you now take your real hook. Like, where is it? I can't even find it. Oh, it's sitting right next to me. So what you're going to do now is you're going to push back all the like stuffy rubber bands. <laughs> Grab. the bottom rubber band as you can see to me it's very awfully pushed down actually it's pushed down a little too much Oops. it's pushed down a little too much oh, wait it's a little dark and I'm just gonna all right so what oops All right, so once you grab that rubber band, you're going to push it to the next peg. You grab that, push it to the next peg, and just keep going until the end of the loom. That easy. Okay, now it's time for your pulling hook. Those hooks that you don't mind if they break or bend or whatever. This one actually is too weak, so I'm going to go with the stronger ones. Um, so, I don't know what my brother was doing. Um, uh, I don't know what my brother is doing. He was just doing something. I, I have no idea what. He's talking to himself. I know. Yeah, he like he makes nerf reviews. He just said, "Watch my nerf reviews." So what you're just basically doing is pulling off all the bunk junky rubber bands, all those rubber bands that we placed in a weird arrow shape. And now don't pull the whole thing off yet. What you need to do? Take your pencil, wherever it is. Take the last one and nope, and pull just straight off. And then. There you go. Little furry Lorax thing. Thank you for watching these two little things. Like and subscribe. And watch my brother's Nerf reviews if you like Nerf. I like Nerf too. Maybe I'll do a couple reviews. Also, play Portal 2 and Minecraft. See y'all tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.